so solid works today we are going to discuss about uh, same in the part modeling uh, today we are going to discuss about in the modify tools so modify tools it's an uh, important tool uh, because last class we are discussing about the uh, basic tools basic tools is used to create the basic models this modify tools and the next class we are going to discuss about the advanced tools these two tools are, are very useful for uh, changing basic to advanced level so here we are going to use uh, uh, this today we are going to discuss about all these tools starting from fillet chamfer this both are uh, one per edge to removing the edge concept and next one we are going to discuss about linear pattern so patterns so patterns means see here we have the four different leg but in the same profile four different uh, places the legs are located in the four different places but the profile is same so this 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 type of time we no need to spend more time to create the all the uh, four legs so if first we create one leg and we are using the pattern to create the number of legs so same like that in the top number of holes is there in the screen this uh, drawing you can see see here different type of holes is available but no need to create individually we can create one hole and we go we are going to uh, create number of holes in the single click so that is the concept of pattern so in this pattern we have the different types is available so starting from the linear pattern circular pattern mirror curve, uh, curve pattern sketch pattern table pattern and fill pattern today we are going to discuss about all different type of patterns and also we, we start from uh, we are going to discuss about uh, rip draft and shell i think uh, you are remember about draft because we are discussing in the draft feature in the extrude also extrude also we have the draft same like that we have the draft here then we are going to create this exercise in this exercise uh, all the tools is uh, going to use all the advanced tools we are going to use and create this exercise then uh, as usual i give some extra drawings for you for uh, uh, practice yourself okay so before that i want to open the solid works yes this solid works i am going to click new and i select the part and i am going to open give okay uh, last class uh, was him asking some doubt about uh, changing the color in the particular uh, part module so i want to explain that one first and then we go for uh, today class so i am going to create one uh, basic model in the front plane just for applying the color just i click the rectangle start from the corner yes start from the corner yes and update it and i am going to change this one to 3d 2d to 3d using the extruded boss so now i give tick mark then now i want to apply the colors so here we have the color option so just i go to click here we have the different type of default colors available here so just i click on the track and drop the in the part so i can select a particular surface or entire part like that we i can select i go to select the body it means entire uh, part the change the same color okay the wasim doubt was how to check customize this color because here we have only uh, some based on the material we have the color but sometimes we want to customize so how we go to customize is very simple see in the left side top corner we have an icon like this display manager just you click this display manager here that color which color we are applied before that is visible here just to select and right click it we have the option for edit so just edit appearance just you click this one same the left side column we get in some different uh, colors see see the left side here we have the different color format so which color you want you can select or you select which color we, here we have the three different pl places a different format to choose the color here we have a standard square format in the below we have some format like this and also rg p see red green blue combination we we have so just you move this small cursor we can we can change the entire color setup okay this is for the washing uh, doubt 
I hope Vasim understand the doubt. Even you can download it uh, from the uh, some other website or some Saldoc's website. We can uh, bring the import the color from here. See now I'm now we are in the basic. Now I just go to advance. Just come down. We have yes mm, yes yes. See. In the color and image tab, we have the option for browse. So you can browse. So already I downloaded these colors. How you can download just to see the format .p2m. Just to Google it. In the Google, you go to type solidworks .p2m file. Just to type like that, you get a uh, different color format here. After that, you just go to the here the browse and select which color you want. Okay, already I downloaded some file here. See, these files are I downloaded. Just I go inside. So we have the file format .p2m. Just select and give OK. That color automatically appeared here. See, color with some pattern also is there. Just I go to click OK. See this one. This look like an uh, some uh, cloth material. So like this also, not only the color, we can add some patterns also. Okay, this like a fabric fiber pattern. Okay, so again, uh, okay, just to go here and select, right click, edit. In this edit, we have the different options available. So here, the under the column and uh, color and image tab, just come down. Here we have the option for. Browse just to browse it. So you can uh, before browsing, you want to download this from uh, Google. Okay, uh, official Saldog website also is available. This different type of patterns. Okay, I hope you are understand this one. Basim, uh, now your doubt was clear. Yes, sir. Oh, this was not my doubt. Some has been uh, asked. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, sorry. Done. So now I'm going to take new file part. Okay. So see in the future first two tap only visible because this is a primary tools. So after creating this one other tools are activated. Okay. So now I'm going to sketch. Again, I'm going to sketch future, then select the front plane. Then I create one small rectangle here. Just update. I'm not giving any dimension. So just I go to extruder. Yes. So I'm going to little bit increased and then I give tick mark. Now we are going to discuss these tools. Fillet. We have a small arrow below the fillet, you click that one, the fillet and chamber both is available in this place. After that, we are discussing about the patterns. We are going to discuss about pattern here and rip trapped cell. This all we go to discuss now. So first starting from the fillet, you just click the fillet and after clicking automatically the left side, see the fillet properties was open here. So you just click the edge. Just you click the edge. Once you click the edge, we can give the values. So I'm going to give 30. See, now this fillet is acting on a metal removing feature. Okay. So now I'm going to click OK. Here metal going to remove. Keep in your mind. So just I go to give tick mark. Now this metal was removed. Sometimes we can add the metal also. Now I'm going to click here and start new sketch. Then I'm going to create one small rectangle from this place to this place and give tick mark. Okay, now we're going to extrude and extrude the sketch. Okay, just a little bit I increased. Then I give tick mark. See, in this place also we can create the fillet. Now I'm going to click the fillet and I'm going to select the edge. Okay. 
same 30 mm now i am going to give the tick mark see now metal added so here metal added and then here metal removed this place metal removed so the fillet and chamfer it is a tool for metal adding and also for metal removing okay these all are the uh, maybe the interview questions okay because extruded boss only for metal adding feature we cannot remove using the extruded boss extruded cut only we can remove the material but the chamfer and fillet we can add the material same time we can remove the material okay so now i am going to click the chamfer and we have a different type of chamfer is available here chamfer type so before clicking this one i am going to click this edge see now this only for degree sorry distance and angle okay so 45 degree angle 10 mm distance we can change the 45 degrees into 30 degree because most of the industry drawings we can use for standard angles it's 45 degree or 30 degree these two only mostly we are using some industries are customized angle also they are using but here we have two distance so now i am going to click d into d it means distance into distance See, we take like this Just i'm going to take like this so distance means see this point to the chamfer starting point this distance this take as a d1 and this is take t2 but here t1 d2 both are same value that's why see you can see here d d both are same when you click this one one is distance this is take acting as an angle this angle this is distance if i go to change the distance the angle not if i go to change the angle the distance not change angle only going to change see before is 35 degree 30 degree now it's 45 degree but this height is not changed because the 10 i cannot i'm not changing so now i'm going to change the distance to 20 <coughs> see distance 20 it means the angle is same 45 degree okay so like that we have different type of uh, chamfer is there so another two type please you try it yourself you can give the dimensions from the graphics area and also we have give the dimensions from the uh, property manager okay now i give tick mark so i get the chamfer like this okay done <coughs> So see in the model tree, the left side, what are the features we, we active, uh, created now, all the features available here. Sometimes you want to change from the previous one, you can change here. Inside we have the sketch, we can change. Okay, this one you keep in your mind. Okay, so next I am going to discuss about pattern plane. <coughs> Sorry, linear pattern. So for the pattern, I'm going to delete this all features. Otherwise, I'm going to delete only the first one. Others are automatically deleted. See, I'm going to select the first one and right click and I'm going to delete. If I delete the first feature, other all feature also going to delete. This is called a parent-child relationship. Technically, we 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 talking about parent-child relationship. So in the first one acting on the parent, others are not acting on the child. If you delete the parent, automatically child also it's delete. Okay. So now I give S. See, all extruded deleted. Only the remaining sketch because uh, extrude uh, is created after the sketch. So that's why sketch only available. All uh, features are deleted because all others are uh, child relation uh, concept. Okay. So again, I'm going to use extrude and select the sketch okay little bit i reduced then i am going to give tick mark so in this 3d module i am going to create another one small circle just to select in the top and going to sketch i am going to select the circle i am going to create here on small circle radius of 4 mm then i give tick mark then again i am going to feature and select extruded boss or metal i am going to add the material now so just increase the height and i give okay 
so i create like this this one pillar or this one handle i want to make number of copies entire in the part uh, surface of the basic part so in this purpose i am we are going to use the patterns we have first i am going to start from the linear pattern just i go to select the linear pattern once i select the linear pattern in the left side the properties was open so first is asking for the direction so which direction how we go to identify the direction means we have the option for select the edge see once i just i go near to the edge it's automatically showing it's possible to select and also i'm going this side here also possible to select so i'm going to select this edge x axis <coughs> sorry just i select the x axis see now the direction one selected next is asking for the direction two so at present i need only one direction just i select the one direction after that i little bit come down here we have the two options features and face so i am going to select the feature so just i select first i want to select this rectangle box inside then i move to select the this extrude this beam just i go to select the beam see once i select the beam it's automatically other beams are created here see number of beams created okay how can i control the number of beams and the distance between the beams we can just to go little upside see here this is a direction one now i enter 10 and the distance also 10 so now i am going to change number of number of uh, resource number of column i go to enter 5 just i click here again see now only 5 i am going to change the distance between the two columns i give 20 and enter see it's increase now i just i go to click tick mark so linear pattern number of column work created so no need to every time to create the circle and extrude like this just we are using the linear pattern and create if you can use a linear pattern we can create the two di second direction also just i am going to edit the feature 